streaks. First up, let's check out this example in Venezuela, and then we'll cruise over to Brazil, Gabon, and Madagascar. Let's do it. So our first example is up here on the northern coast of Venezuela up here, and it's right about here. So I've shown this once or twice, so I won't go too, too deep into it, but uh, here it is. The streaks, obviously, are coastal dunes, artificial, natural, whatevers, and um, possible, like, angular dealy bobbers there. Um, this is somewhat angular, and this kind of extension there little thing here looking like an extension of that maneuver possibly um, just uh, is what it is and kind of a, a nice neat um, end to it over here I don't know I could go either way it certainly looks somewhat awkward but who knows and what about this one over here let's get that there's one more example uh might as well hit while i'm over here is uh this big one the gulf of venezuela and you see these big old streaks and let's measure how far back they go showed this in a previous video again so uh yeah about five miles back from the coast and just the way they look is kind of abrupt and awkward. Doesn't mean it's not natural, but there's it's just a spidey sense thing. And then we have, let me turn the tool, uh, place marks on. We have some uh, old grid in the area, I believe, like Possibly like right here, this kind of old stuff. Potential old weirdness by the same hand as the streaks, maybe, maybe. And uh, anything else? So you can see in some spots they look pretty darn regular. Like this. Hmm, I could see that being modern or just artificial weirdness, these uh, more uh, wide spaced lines here. So let's look real quick. 1969, looking like it hasn't changed these lines here. Interesting. So these lines here, I think may even be just a weird portion of the artificial streaks just like an embellished weirdness part of it, like here as well, just nothingness, random patterns for whimsical purposes or deception purposes or whatever. Um, just observing here, seeing if anything else jumps out at me. And just giving you a feel for what the streaks look like. Okay. All right. So then we have these vertical, or I mean, uh, these uh, more linear. Uh, streaks which are likely run over just from water or whatever this as well potentially could go either way these long parallel lines here even these streaks like these uh some kind of abrupt ends and stuff I'm undecided. Let's 
see, what about this business? This might be a modern installation of some kind. Okay, so that was some stuff in Venezuela. Let's go down to uh, this example in Brazil, where we have some streaks. So just to get a feel for it again, pretty large scale, probably a couple miles. Yeah, about eight miles inland from the coast. We still have these streaks. And there's they kind of branch off this way and they, they're pretty straight looking here, which is interesting. Could still be natural. See the straightness of it here. And then here's like a slightly diverging direction. And even some of these lines like this could potentially be artificial weirdness. Like these uh, little river bends and stuff. Some Sometimes those uh, Well, they, they just get me raising an eyebrow a little bit, like this little channel here. Mm, might be for modern navigation or something. Some type of path here. Looks like just a lot of little stuff like this. Even these little wavy lines could be from boats or tire tracks even or whatever. But this is a very large scale example of streaks so enjoy okay and anything in particular nearby just some other streaks um, the streaks are pretty much everywhere, so we could almost just zoom in on any part of coast and within a, sh a brief scroll around, we'll find some streaks. So here, just a straight little channel here, which doesn't seem to do much. Possible clue there. Similar type of deal here. What is that? Just like a linear, linear nothing. Even these, maybe, it's tough to say, it could be modern. All right. And yes, just streaks is pretty ubiquitous. You can find them anywhere, really. Okay. Slightly angular little headland there, but could be anything. Hmm. Different look to these streaks. Got these fairly straight ones, and then different direction here. That may be man made stuff. And here we have several trajectories. And here, not sure whether this is a similar phenomenon or not. Um, okay, let's uh, oh, and then some possible old grid stuff in the area. And there's a whole bunch of straight out of place channels, if you want to call it that. Or just grids and grids and lines and lines. Um, so to be considered. Okay. And what was the next one? I forget. Uh, oh, Gabon. Wanted to cruise over to Gabon. And just more of the same, basically, streaks. 
Ghost looks machined. Yeah, maybe not the best choice of words, but I'm pretty sure I made that place mark before I had done my research on beach ridges. Um, but I still have my doubts of the naturalness of this feature. And we've got these larger scale streaks here, like and then the uh, smaller scale ones. See, even this like slight angular or linear end there is a little, a little awkward. Even that, a very subtle thing. So some potentially artificial tree lines and stuff. And some cases looking very flowy, some like right here looking pretty flowy. And then up here we have looking pretty straight and precise is what it is. And nothing. So I think I pretty much said most of what I wanted to say in part one. So this one's, this video, I guess, is going to kind of be, oops, um, a little more light and fluffy and less substantial, just giving you a, a general view of some of these places. Madagascar, Louisiana, Florida. So Madagascar is right over here. And this one is right here. So this island here probably um, contributes to the shape of this pointy tip here. Uh, the wave energy bends around this island and there's like an interference pattern which creates a, a pointy uh, nice peak here. And then uh, accompanying streaks or beach ridges, coastal dunes, what have you. Not necessarily artificial, just interesting. I do find these little start and stop things, these little interruptions, I find those pretty interesting. Um, like little linear tidbits. And anything else? Mm. A little linear thing there. Possible old grid, but maybe modern farming stuff. Right, like right here. Okay. That is Madagascar. Louisiana, maybe take a quick brief look. We already pretty much know what streaks look like at this point, so I don't know how much more valuable this is going to be. Just a little redundant, you know. But yeah, sorry, I'm not quite sure where those streaks are, but you kind of see some streaks, large scale, like Along the coast here. Oh, here they are. Just this area. Big old streaks. And little uh, former oil activity potentially or former artificial weirdness like these lines here. Obviously. And so there you have it. Big old streaks. with some lines, many modern lines and some potentially less conventional lines. Okie doke. Hmm. 
Hmm. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm getting captivated by all the patterns and curious. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find this little one in Florida over here. Example of streaks. Ah, oh, found it first try. Okay, so. So these looking pretty flowy, looking a little somewhat oddly regular. I mean, it's not hard to imagine that being complete, completely natural, so not a whole lot to say, just letting you check it out. Mm, this little right angle island here or something like that. Again, I could also see that being totally natural, just caught, caught my eye. Okay, uh, what else? These ones in Alaska. Maybe I'll jump up here real quick. So this is what they look like in the photo and then up in the, uh, Google Earth, we've got well, plenty of different examples in Alaska of the streaks. Um, these ones might be somewhere up here. Well, there's some streaks. Interesting, we've got these transverse lines this way. Interesting. And then... Here we have this, again, a very pointy area in Alaska and these streaks again. Not sure if it's the exact same streaks in the photo, but same same type of deal. So get the picture, and much smaller scale ones with uh, presumably from natural activity from this area to this area. And, all right, that's probably enough. Here's some more streaks with a more uh, uh, a porous look to it. Pretty cool. All right, what else do we have? Russia, I've already showed you this area, so I won't take you here. Obviously streaks on the river. This area I would like to show you. Um, so let me take you here. So anyway. Ah, uh, crap, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, trying to find this location in Russia. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. Um, well, here's some streaks. And... This little thin strip is pretty interesting. Here's some streaks, pretty cool. Here's several sets of streaks uh, in kind of uh, an interesting pattern. We've got this one like interrupting these 
trajectories. So interesting patterns here. Sorry, I wasn't prepared. I should have been able to just find that uh, streaky area I was looking for, but here's more streaks. So you just get a general idea for how the, the world looks, the streaks everywhere. And nice linear abrupt end to this tree line potentially. Dang it. Sorry, random zooms are pretty annoying to watch. Well, this area has quite a few streaks. These are most likely volcanic or geological. And then these as well. We also have it kind of going to the coast like this. So unclear whether that's from water activity or just geological activity. Oh, here's that area. Okay, in the still photo. Um, I don't know why I say still image. The word still is implied in the word image, but uh, see like even little abrupt lines like this irk me like this. So we've got these streaks and yeah, even like this. Eh. And... Yeah, so we have the multiple trajectories like this one going this way, this one. So that would presumably just be the former uh, tidal changes in the, the ocean flow and coastal flows, whatever. And we've got these curly patterns. And let's do a quick look back. It's an abrupt end to this, which is a little awkward to me, but this abrupt edge may be part of a uh, former edge of this riverbank. So that could be why. Okay, I guess not much of a look back in history. Looking roughly the same in 2004. Okay. So, is what it is. And then we have these other streaks inland as well to consider, like these. These looking a little more linear and mechanical in some spots. Tire tracks. A lot going on. It's a pretty rich landscape here, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to uh, explain it all uh, sufficiently. I mean, I know that I'm not, but uh, yeah, just another thing I'm considering that the cliff sides are like. Uh, buzzed or sheared, but that's another day's conversation. And streaks up here as well. Up here. So is this geological or is this ocean streaks? Like, are these tire tracks right here? Like, see these? Are those the streaks? These look like tire tracks. Okay, so let's move on to another area. Russia. Okay, hmm, are these streaks modern? Ah, 
gosh darn it. Sorry about this. I can't find it. <clears throat> These streaks are modern. There we go. So this is a uh, part of Russia. Um, this island over here. And okay, so we've got these streaks going, these beach ridges here along the coast. And then these guys. So are these modern work? That would make the most sense. I mean, yeah, I guess we have modern vehicle path here. These are pretty sizable mounds. Um, I don't know what these would be if it's modern, but it doesn't mean it's not modern. And we have these streaks here. And this line right here, whatever that is, some type of path or road or something. And All right, and then we see the other streaks behind it. So this may be like some type of weird pattern, this white part here, uh, including this, like sh sh these gashes, just weird, and like these little nubs here. Doesn't seem very practical if it's modern work. Just these odd angles and stuff, you see this? So uh, these odd angles, Maybe even that, not sure. I don't know if the historical photos tell us much. That's a good image though, the, uh, what was that? This image just gives a good view of it, of all the details little angles and stuff like these angles, these weird gashes or whatever. And this whole uh, little setup here, kind of strange. So possible artificial weirdness. And then you see how regular and mechanical these beach ridges are. Again, that's slightly awkward to my eye as well. Like very precise lines. Very, very, very. Okay. Um, see additional streaks up here of some kind. Uh, don't know what this is. Rectangle it might be modern. And by tool marks, I think I just mean streaks. So more of it, this whole uh, stretch here. See this, oh, that might be a road actually. Yeah, that's a road. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, that's enough of that. Russia, Russia, Venezuela, got it. Mexico. Yeah, let's um, let's check out Mexico real quick. So this whole coast has some interesting things. I'll only show you some parts. But uh, this is the area that has some interesting streaks along with these little mounds or little dot islands, little bumpy something or others. Uh, so and like all these little angles, it's tough to say whether that's modern farming or abandoned farming from a few decades ago or whatever, like all these little grids and stuff. 
Like, is this from something going around sculpting the landscape? Like a modern dredge? Or is it, it's like, something weirder? Okay, so zoom out and we see the streaks. And pretty sure I already toured this area. So just giving it one more looking over. Um, these little lines, they do bother me a little bit. Like, especially like this one, that. So lots of little irksome details here on these, in this general area. Like this. Okay. So, I don't know what this would convince you of, but I'll just give you a feel for it. Like these lines of oddly arranged islands. Some kind of activity there. Just these little paths here. Okay, that's that. And just looking for any other streaks nearby. Same here, see these. Natural, artificial, whichever, okay. Michigan, Uzbekistan, Brazil. So, I say tool marks, but you know what I mean? Like just kind of abrupt looking or crisp looking streaks here, fairly crisp, some of them, and then several sets of them. Possibly following the terrain. This like right here that just kind of looks like a little sweep here that kind of ends like that. A lot of these just looking like maneuvers which end kind of abruptly if you see what I'm talking about. They just kind of like the start and finish of a brush stroke. Okay. Nice little rainbow sweep. Nice clean streaks. Okay, so that's that. And then those are just some examples. We can observe the same thing uh, elsewhere. Um, all along the, uh, the lakes. And so th this isn't just a, uh, an ocean thing. It's on lakes as well. Uh, yeah. See any right here. A little bit back here, maybe. Okay, uh, next up, I think, was... Um, I forget. Brazil, angular abrupt into streaks. I'm going to skip Uzbekistan for now. Okay, let me go here. So this would be the angular, potential angular end to these uh, streaks. Actually, I don't know if this is the same spot. No, this is somewhere in Africa, but same deal, I guess. Uh, so these uh, 
potentially angular tree lines here where it's just like swept to a point. Or it's possible that it was a fall, uh, it went all the way through and then just whatever this pattern is like overtook it up to a point like the riverbank uh, subsequently. So that's possible. All these streaks as well. Oh, excuse me. Cool streaks here. Whatevers. So this is kind of similar to what I wanted to point out. This uh, like this straight line here, and then these kind of angular, especially that nice clean curve there, just. Very odd. So that's not the one. No. That's Africa again. Okay, well that does demonstrate the point, so maybe we don't need to look at the Brazil example. Uh, let me just type this in bar iris. All right, well. I don't know exactly where that example is, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. Streaks are streaks. If you've seen one, you've seen them all, right, folks? Yeah. Streakies. Okay, um, yawn, let's leave this example behind. And Honduras, let's check it out. So Honduras, these streaks, let's zoom out and see where we are. Uh, this general area. One of these spots. Here we go. The whole coast has these uh, streaks and stuff. Okay, cool. I'm looking at this abrupt end here. Here. And then the, the streaks continue all along the coast. Uh, same story basically. Uh, so, so there's that. And then over here. Like little lines like this irk me a bit. Could be modern stuff. Just like the right angles and stuff. Like this one. Eh. Is that natural? Is it modern work? This guy. Could be modern. Got like just this random line here. See that? Meh. A little weird. Some possible lines here. All right. So some aspect of like 
clean regularity to them, like very thinly spaced, well-defined, I would say. And you see the multiple directions like this way, this way, this way. And nothing particular jumping out at me like angles or anything. It's like little potential lines like this and stuff. Like this, yeah, that might bother me a little bit. Like that. Kind of. Even, even this right here. Like this awkward little patch here. All right, so that's Honduras streaks. This river does have a very interesting flow to it. Like, I'm getting dizzy. Dizzy following it. What causes these streaks? So this was before I found out about the conventional exp explanation for beach ridges. Okay. So see this abrupt, eh, could be modern clearing of the area. Like all these little, like this looks like they're growing something. So maybe I should not speak on it not like this. I don't know, is that pipelines or something? A little abrupt little patches here. Okay, let's uh, probably move on. Some organically flowy ones here flowy looking. All right. Russia. This is on land somewhere. Um, I mean, you get the idea. I probably don't need to tour the area. Streaky landscape, Guinea-Bissau. Let's take a look at this one, actually. So streaky landscape, here it is. So quite a ways inland, there's some river system, whatever's, and so there's the idea of the angular streakiness. So kind of angular here, you see that? Just a little strange. Contrast isn't the best. But like these kind of abrupt lines and see like right here. Let me zoom out there. See like these we have lines going this way and then like some kind of abrupt little ends to that. Which could be modern clearing or in my contention, some type of weird uh, working over the land. Maybe even this as well. Could certainly be modern. I say the same sentences like over and over again. <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed. So streaky angular landscape just Keep an eye out for that in uh, Guinea-Bissau. And uh, maybe I should show you some of the old grid nearby in the same country. Nice little curve there. These streaks.
I'm looking for, let me, let me see if I, uh, a different year shows better contrast so you can get a better feel for the angularity. I hate when it does that. It just overlays the same exact image or just a blank spot. All right, well, not much help here. Okay, uh, well, let's look at some of this old grid stuff. So all, all along this like whole uh, countryside, there's like old grid stuff going on. Just grid after grid after grid. Some, some of it modern, much of it not, in my opinion, most of it not. Just little plot of land after the next everywhere so you get a feel for that see it kind of breaking up this whole river system these old gritty patterns whatever that is lines and stuff okay let's uh, keep chugging away This one, skip that, Spain, awkwardly parallel streaks. Let's check it out. Okay, here we are in Spain somewhere near the Strait of Gibraltar. Excellent. So right here. And just referring to these lines of trees, which are presumably growing in uh, former beach ridges or potentially geological features, like bedding layers or whatever it is. Just the rock, the streaky rock that could be. So these may not be coastal or beach dunes. They may be like these rock flows actually. And are mountains natural? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Some or most of them may be natural. Maybe even all of them, but at this point, I'm thinking at least some mountain ranges are just like total fabrications. <clears throat> I mean, think about it. Ask yourself the question, do you really think at the rate human technology is advancing that we won't be able to create a mountain range on a whim um, at some point in the near future? I mean, if you don't think so, then you're not really seeing what's, what's possible with, uh, with technology uh, and supercomputers and super processing and super knowledge as well, like smarter and smarter algorithms. So you really think we can't uh, whip up a fake mountain range if we want to? Of course we could. So then the question is like, <laughs> I mean, that throws a monkey wrench in all verification of anything basically, because that means anything could be fake if, um, if it can eventually be faked by someone with high enough te technology and uh, knowledge, then how do we know that what we're looking at is is uh, organic? And I guess the, the the answer is we may not ever know, or maybe we'll be surprised and we'll find out at some point. Okay, well, possible abrupt line there, probably a modern path. All right, this area may not be very interesting in the. Um, streaks conversation actually so uh, streaky rock mountains yeah similar deal so are these streaky streaky mountains 
Yeah, this is another thing I'm like 50-50 on. Streaky mountain ranges. Uh, this this um, linear uh, ravine or like linear path up the cusp or the uh, crest of a little uh, cliffside, that's another common thing as well. So we've seen that in Mauritania and elsewhere. So whenever I see that, I'm always a little wary on parallel lines, multiple directions. Yeah, modern, maybe not. See these, these long parallel lines? Mm, like these meeting these in an angle and this angle here. So just uh, slightly awkward. Here's another one of those straight or more or less straight lines up the, almost like ribbing up the um, cliffside. Just one way of thinking about it. So yeah, potential something there. Anyways, we might get through all the images in this video. Uh, just because I'm kind of glossing over it, you know. Um, I've already said most of what I want to say anyways. It's just kind of like beating a dead horse at this point. And uh, eventually, maybe I'll do a, like a best examples video, like a shorter video with uh, more uh, cherry-picked examples or more... Uh, carefully curated or carefully selected examples um, in a denser format that would probably be better for the viewer. Um, right now I'm just doing what helps me get through the material quickest. So Chile, we have these little windshield wiper sweeps of streaks and these stripes as well. And um, Let's, uh, let's jump to Chile for a little bit. I know we took a look at this a few videos back, but we weren't focusing on streaks. So let's focus a little more on these windshield wiper sweeps potentially. And it's these guys, these little sets of streaks. All right. Okay. And that is basically the gist of it. Um, see, I almost feel like those end abruptly. See that? Eh, abrupt. Abrupt end, maybe. Or maybe that's a road that intersects it or something. Yeah, it looks like it might be, actually. Oh, not over here. Not right there. Okay. But plenty of streaks, little sets of streaks, and possible multiple explanations for the different little sets of streaks. You know, not just one uniform explanation, but possibly seeing multiple phenomena, like including exposed layers of rock and coastal dunes and also uh, like wind erosion and stuff like that. Stuff like this, that's just looking to me like a, a big eyebrow, like a sweep like this and this and these, all the different orientations and then this like this and then this going this way this way and then don't forget this little one up here just like a little isolated bubble of streaks here looking pretty awkward to me and I think that will do it that's good enough
for now. Okay. And actually, uh, Angola, I was going to check out. So Angola is this country over here. And we have these, um, this kind of, uh, almost looks like watercolor painting or part of that's just the coloration, but like these, uh, this very different look to these types of streaks. Um, here we see possible angular abrupt end here and there. Maybe, maybe there and there. So, yeah, it looks like some little hiccups along the length of them. So kind of a haphazard pattern of streaks here, almost looking like some type of uh, cellular automata or uh, or maybe like an electrical burn pattern or you know some like little science experiment thing. Uh, here we have multiple directions, whatevers. And of course, said it a thousand times already, but I could obviously envision this being natural. And it wouldn't surprise me also if it's artificial. But it's just one more type of streak to consider. Just like inland, and it's like a very vast and kind of a more sporadic distribution of uh, what looks like streaks due to like monsoon seasons or something like that, some seasonal aquatic activity. Or I mean like weight, uh, water activity. And pretty vast scale that we see it. And then of course there's the artificial possibility that it's like embellishment or like finishing touches or like a uh, uh, texturing algorithm, something like that. But yeah, you get the idea. And then also, while we're over here, let's check out uh, these very large scale streaks. Like you see these, let's measure the width and then, so about one to two miles across between these uh, between these uh, streaks, and then the length is, I mean, go all the way over here. Could even be the exposed geology, but mm, I don't know. So you see it here. And like you see these, uh, like from there to there, it's just like a, it's subtle, but it's like a awkward notch at the end of this. Maybe a water flow or something. So I could be wrong there. Mm, maybe a fence or a road. These lines here could be anything. But we do have these very large scale streaks, so let's just measure like from there to there. All right, 200, 300 miles. And if we include over here, it's like 500 miles. So it's basically like the whole continent of Africa was like poosh, blitzed over. And then, of course, Mauritania as well. We have poosh, these very large scale streaks running down here. So I'm envisioning, I'm envisioning like uh, at the end of the movie Avatar, where they, the big industrial corporation like goes and cuts down the big tree and whatnot. So I'm envisioning that kind of like, just like one big operation that like rewrites everything in like a big violent, um, not necessarily violent, but uh, abrupt, um, operation, discontinuous operation. So 
So we have these large scale streaks to consider, possibly just like a raising over of the land with high technology. And again, these orthogonal or right angle components, possibly noteworthy, I would say, possibly nothing. Like, eh, see that? Mm, could be something. So not just this one maneuver direction, like it, we would be looking at like multiple pass-throughs with differing uh, implementation strategies, like little little brush strokes and big brush strokes uh, implemented with this technology and that technology and the other, uh, and linear there. So it's whatever's. <laughs> uh, okay, Let's skip all that for now. I think in this big lake up here, we might have some streaks. Just a, yeah, uh, some yeah, some faint ones underlying modern activity. Yeah, I'll skip it though. But lakes as well. You can observe the streaks. Um, okay, let me uh, try and stay focused here. So Chile, Angola, those. Okay, that is it. So I guess we got streaks done in uh, two episodes and there's plenty more um, streaks I could show you. I mean, maybe I should do a couple random zooms, just like here, I haven't looked at this spot of Italy, but I'm sure we could find something. Nice big, oh, that might be CERN or something. Um, oh, actually, that's in Swiss, Switzerland, huh? <laughs> I don't know my human affairs. Um, so this area, a little more densely, dense activity along the coast. So we're not seeing as many streaks. Yeah, I guess it depends on the, the type of, uh, the way the, the land meets the water and the activity, recent activity, uh, maybe streaks. Kind of streaky, but it's a pretty ubiquitous thing. You can zoom in on any area of coast and usually within five minutes of scrolling around, you'll see some type of streaks going on, depending on where you land and if you get lucky. But uh, on the street, streaky rock. And sometimes it's just the, the rock that's streaky. All right. So are we done with streaks? I feel like I need to be just a little more anticlimactic. So I'm gonna do a couple, couple more random zooms. How about Texas? Streaks, yeah, we got some streaks. Got some streaks in Texas. And Texas, of course, has heavy oil activity and all that. They also, I mean, seeing plenty of like weird little lines that aren't necessarily attributable to uh, modern stuff. Like this. Eh. Streakies. So streaks overgrown. Oh, and I think this area, we do have a decent look back in time, back to the 1950s or so. Oh, I'm wrong, 1984. No, yeah, in the 40s, so we do. Crap, it's not showing much. 
1986. I don't know if that's accurate, but we see these nice clean tree lines along the streaks. Presumably slightly mechanical looking to my eye. And then all kinds of modern stuff as well. And even these like little sheesh. I'm still tempted to say like artificial sweep on some of these bays. These weird patterns are modern. All right, I already, I'm getting into stuff I already covered. Um, okay, well, I think one of these pops up as modern. Yeah, this little one is new. It's one over here. Okay. Streaks are plenty. Okay, hopefully that's enough streaks for you unless you want to go look for more. And uh, I think next up is artificially machined or artificially sculpted coastlines. So we will cover that topic next. All right, see you then.